We have prayed to the first God, our Lord, to the family, to the to all you that are in the house. We have prayed to the Lord, we pray to the Lord, in the house of the Lord one more time. And not that because we were so good, but because God was so good to us. So we pray to God, we give God the glory. At this time, we're going to open up for our, our devotion. I will not accept the prayer that had already gone in Sunday school. But there is a scripture I want to read this morning for our devotion, to start our devotion. Because of the fact that yesterday I had the opportunity to speak to a relative, the unusual relative, but I didn't know who he was. And we talked about how family that drifted apart. Look at what the scripture said this morning. Come on, add the second, second chapter and begin the first verse and said, and when, they, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly came a sound from heaven as, as a progression out of wind and filled the house that they were sitting. And then there appeared unto them purple a tongue like a fire. And as they sit upon each of them, and all began to be filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with one another with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them others. And what this, I was talking to this young man yesterday. And we, it's all for family to come together. We got to do the same thing they did on the day of the family come. We got to learn how to come together. Right. I'm telling you, if family can't come together, they're not so much speaking tongues. But when the family come together, and, and the day of family and friends day, if we can't come together as friends and family, don't worry about trying to come together in heaven. Don't worry about family folks day in heaven. God has given us the Holy Spirit here this morning, this, uh, here on earth, that we come together, when we come together and be on one call, then we can be blessed. We can have a blessing. And not, not all we got to speak in tongues, but when we come together on one call, whether in here, whether at, whether at, at, at home, whether, uh, 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 wherever we are, when we come together on one call, God will bless. And then I thank you, I just thank God that Regard of the circumstance, I heard you, you mentioned someone in Sunday school, regard of what we're going through, when we keep coming together and give God a praise, God will bless you. And, and, and I, I don't know about you, but I can give a praise when I'm home by myself. Amen. Yeah. I, I pray God will. It may not be like you do, but I still give him a praise. And so I ask you know that no uh, a word prayer continue to pray for me as I continue to pray. And this and I don't say that casually. I, I don't say it just be saying so when I say I pray for everyone, sometimes I do. Let me uh sometimes I forget the on him. Sometimes yeah. and sometimes I told the Lord I hey, love been praying for this time because I was about to see. But he knows what's in our heart. So when I say I pray for you, I pray for the church, I pray for community, I pray for the family, I do it from the heart. But you know what? God wants to come together on one call. Amen. So you have a song, you have a praise, you have opportunity to give God your praise whatever way you so desire to do.
I used to give a number, but it won't the right number, so I try not to give it no more. I had to shut down to see how many it is. Thank you, sir. I mean, on Sunday school, I said, Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Family and Praise Day. Anderson Chapel. Amen. Amen. June 4th, 2023. Let's give God a hand clap. Closer to any brother, it is a joy and a privilege to get to be in the house of the Lord 
One more time. Amen. One more time. Another day that the Lord has blessed and kept us. We're going to proceed forward this morning. We're going to have our uh, announcements by uh, Sister uh, Trustee Nancy Wooten. And uh, then we will have the welcome by Sister Olivia Evers. I just like to add for Men's Day, um, the Honorable Sheriff T. Atkinson will be the um, messenger for the morning and the Sheriff Choir. I heard a choir yesterday at that program. I was trying to get them, but you know how it is on Sunday morning. You can't get them. They, they can't come. But, uh, that's what I bet you know. Yeah, so, do you have anything else? Is anyone in the audience have a an announcement to Dr. Cheryl does. If they aren't, what we'll do, we just will observe the announcements that we have in our bulletin. Amen. Amen. Along with the addition that, that uh, Brother Dancy gave us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Trustee Wu. Kept it simple for us. Yeah, yeah. When she said, observe the announcements in the bulletin, she said, we hope you have a bulletin there. You read the announcements there. Please observe those announcements there. I will add one additional thing. It's at the Vacation Bible School, uh, July 3rd, 5th, 6th, and 7th. So please uh, prepare yourselves for Vacation Bible School. We will take the fourth off for Vacation Bible for what we're doing that week. But at this time, uh, Sister Olivia Ellis will come with the welcome. And if we have a visitor that uh, feels motivated and inspired, what do you think of those here? Or give us a response if you're happy to be here this morning. Amen. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. First, I do give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to um, Pastor Lewis, to Minister Lewis, to First Lady Lewis, to uh, Pastor Faith, to any other minister that might be here on today, to our mothers, to our deacons, and to all of you, saints and friends. Welcome to Anderson Chapel Family and Friends Day. We are truly glad to have each and every one of you with us on today. We pray that the message that will be sent out to you on today will be inspiring, that it will carry you through the week. We pray that you just have a joyous time today in the Lord. And once again, we want to welcome you once, twice, three times. You are welcome. Amen. 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 Church, amen. Amen. Church, amen again. Amen. amen. Lord Jesus Christ, my being here today to the church and to everyone in the building. Right. We're going to accept that warm hearted welcome by our sister all over ever. And we're going to Olivia. 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 Thank you, Thank you for that response. And it's surely good to be here. Amen. It's good to be here. It's good to see all those uh, making their way to the sanctuary. Amen. Those that are excited to be here this morning. Isn't it good to be in God's house? Yes. All that we have been through the week, all that we have dealt with, God has blessed us to come into 
his house one more time because it could have been the other way. But God has looked beyond all of our faults and have saved our very needs. We have been through sickness. We have dealt with death. We have dealt with heartaches. We have dealt with pain. But yet another year, God has blessed us here one more time. We've been through COVID. We've been through this. We've been through economic downtime. But through it all, Jesus Christ is saved yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I lift up my hands and give God the glory and the praise and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all that you have done. Amen. Amen. We are going to get ready this morning. The choir is still gathering in place. So we are just going to give them just a moment or two. As they are gathering, we will remind you that on this coming Saturday, our women working together breakfast will be held at 10 uh, at 9 a.m. So uh, please uh, see Minister Howard or uh, Sister Braswell if you need more information on that. Uh, continue to just pray, 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 and pray some more. Amen. Because we live in a Friday and a praying time. Amen. Amen. We're so delighted this morning to have uh, Chris Chapel and the Amazon Chapel combined together this morning. So the wind stand on the piano, the keyboard this morning. Yeah. Give it a hand. Yeah. Give it a hand. 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 Give it a hand.
by Mother Linda Jackson of Mayo Chapel and a prayer by Deacon Hoy from Mayo Chapel. Come on, boy. <laughs>
to Mother Glenda Jackson. Prayer, follow with a prayer by Deacon Hart. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to uh, Reverend Lewis, and to the pulpit, and all, all the evangelists and clergy in the building. Uh, would you stand with me for the scripture? I'm going to be using two passages briefly. I'm coming from John, the 15th chapter, starting at the 12th verse. And I'll also be in Proverbs, the um, 18th chapter, 24th verse. Right. And it reads as follows. I'm in John 15, 15 and 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Well. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Jesus. And Proverbs 18 and 24 says, A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Friend. And there is a friend that stick closer. Word. And I know it's the word of God, and I believe and know it's sufficient for this service. Amen. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good
similar, you can respond with us. <clears throat> By what common experience do we enter into spiritual fellowship and covenant relations with one another? I believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and on the profession of our faith, baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly. Most softly and joyfully into the government of the Lord of Christ. What is our bond of union with one another? We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love. What are our privileges and duties assumed? We also engage to maintain family and sacred devotions, to religiously educate our children. To what manner of life and conversation are we solemnly pledged? To all circumstances in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and to separate our deportment. To avoid all Catholic, bad fighting, and excessive anger. To abstain from the sale and use of intoxicated drinks as a beverage. And to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Since one is our master, even Christ, and we are all brethren, by what fraternal ministry are we to strengthen each other and adorn the teaching of our Lord and Savior? We pray engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and in distress, and to provide for one another in the Lord Jesus Christ. We Good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen
I'm going to the chapel from Bayville Chapel Church, which is uh, one of the churches of my pastor, and I had my wife here uh, from Leonard Jackson, from Bayville Chapel. I'm going to break the hand. My name is Deacon Jimmy Prayer. I'm from St. Peter's Church of Christ and Saxon Brown. Father, I'm here to visit you the maid today. Amen. God bless you. Give all our visitors a hand. All ministers, all ministers. Uh, you see the ones in full fitness suits up today, but uh, all ministers, if you like to say it again. Okay. Hello, Sammy Henry. This chapter. This chapter. Amen. 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 God bless you. Give my blessings. Amen. I, uh, I must uh, I must say uh, to uh, the uh, sister from uh, Piney Grove reminded me of something uh, that I meant to have mentioned earlier than until the announcement. Uh, uh, Reverend B.G. Ward is receiving his doctorate degree. 103 years old. And they are, they are having a uh, celebration for him on this coming Saturday. Uh, Saturday afternoon. And, uh, I forgot the time exactly, but, uh, but if you get with uh, Deacon Williams, uh, uh, I'm sure uh, they would let you know. But uh, again, that's a milestone. Uh, Amen. Uh, Reverend D.G. Ward, 103 years old. Amen. He's seen his doctorate. That's good. Please, uh, that was announced yesterday. And, uh, uh, he is one of the, he is the oldest uh, minister uh, that I know of. But 103 years old. He's seen his doctorate. God bless you. And, uh, that's a good report to share of a friend. Amen. 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 Now we, we're so thankful for our friends from Virginia. Amen. Amen. And they have more a donation. Amen. And we're thankful for that. Amen. We, we mentioned on uh, uh, Friday night that we have some things that we need to do. And if we step forward and do the things that we need to do, people will get behind it. Amen. So I thank Amen. God for Amen. you coming today. Amen. And Amen. 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 Do it cheerfully yeah. as unto the Lord. Yeah. The yeah. Lord loves a cheerful gift. Yeah. And we thank God for you this day. As did we shall, the ushers, uh, trustees, and deacons, the officers are in charge right now as we shall prepare to receive our worship in here. Amen. 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 Started out kind of cloudy outside this morning. Early for that donation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here at Epsilon, we have only one offering, and it's just a couple of offerings. Up in this show.
So as we come this morning, as the choir shall give us a selection of their choice, we're going to ask Minister Howard, if she will, to read the names on the sick and shut in. Everybody's on the list, they're not shut in. Amen. And some of them may not be as sick as you think they are. Amen. But you don't know the situation. Amen. Amen. But God knows. Amen. And we're going to lift them up this day. And those of you that desire, you may come closer to the altar as we shall call on the name of the Lord. Amen. One more time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lee Owens Barnes, Sister Christy Kennedy, Brother Virgin Edwards, Brother Jesse Clinton, Sister Laura Willoughby, Sister Betty Woody, Brother Robert E. Woody, and the care of cancer patients and caregivers. Lord, forgive us right now. Yeah. 
Father, but Lord, we are thankful, dear Lord, that even in the midst of all of our faults, dear Lord, you look beyond all our faults and you saw our need. So, Lord, for that this morning, we say thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. Thank you, Lord, for touching us early this morning that apply the blood flow warm through our veins. Thank you for shaking us this morning that we got out of our sleeping couch. Thank you, dear Lord, for the food on our table. Thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head. Thank you for the clothes on our back. Thank you, Lord, for the vehicles we drive. Thank you, Lord, for the family that we have surrounded us. Thank you, Lord, Father God, for all that you have done, for the jobs that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for the finances that we have. Thank you, Lord, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Now, Lord, there are those that have gathered around the altar this morning. Yes. Father God, I don't know what their particular need or desire is this morning. But Lord, you know. Yes. So Father God, we lift them up before you right now. And Father God, we say have your way, Lord. Father, whether it's sickness, whether it's relationship, whether it's illness, whether it's financial, whether, dear Lord, it's just, dear Lord, I just don't feel it right now. Father God, just touch them, Lord, and let them know, Lord, that no matter what they're going through, they are never alone. Oh, Lord, you will promise never to leave us, nor forsake us. Father, we ask the Lord that I would touch the Lord. Those whose names have been called this morning. Father God, on the sick list. Father, some are dealing with cancer. Some are dealing with heart problems. Some high blood. Some diabetes. Some other illness, dear Lord. But Father, I know you, dear Lord, to be a doctor. Dear Lord, I know you to be a healer. I know you to be a lawyer. I know you to be a friend. I know you to be a brother. I know you to be a father or sister or mother. Whatever we need right now, dear Lord, I know you to be all things right now. So, Father God, we do ask the Lord that I would just touch him right there. That, Father God, as we look around, the Lord, we see the young people in the building today, the Lord. Father God, some have come, the Lord. Father God, that because they've been motivated this morning and they want to hear the word. Some have come this morning, the Lord, because they was asked, do you want to go to church? Some came this morning, the Lord, because they was told, you'll go to church. But, Father God, whatever they... Whatever the reason they are here this morning, Father, I pray blessings upon them, dear Lord. Father, as the close of another school year comes to a close, Father, as they been faced with a summer, dear Lord. Father God, help them, dear Lord, to make their summer fruitful and eventful, dear Lord. Father God, let them not just lie around and do nothing, dear Lord. But Father God, give them something meaningful and principal, dear Lord. If nothing else, dear Lord, help them to pick up the Bible and read the Word. Father God, for in the Bible there is life. In the Bible there is hope. In the Bible, dear Lord, there is joy for all men. So, Father God, just touch it right here. Father God, now, dear Lord. Father, as we prepare to hear from heaven right now, through your main service. Father God, as we have laid our burdens down by the riverside. Father God, let your main servant bring a word right now, dear Lord. Father God, that would touch our hearts, dear Lord. Father God, that we would say we were glad it was good to have been in Anderson Chapel on this day. In Jesus' name we do pray. We say thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.
for the word of God. We have a preacher in the house. And we are delighted this morning that he has come to share with us. Amen. I asked him the question, who would you like to introduce you this morning? And he sounded kind of like me a little bit. It did not matter. <laughs> uh, he says, it's not about him. It's all about Jesus Christ. Amen. I always tell my wife when she introduced me to keep it simple. Amen. So I'm just going to say we have with us this morning uh, Pastor Reverend Stephen Steve Spade, who is the pastor of Chris Chapel. Yes. Amen. He's been there for approximately 18 years. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know him in the community. You know him as a man of God. You know him as one who can preach and will preach. And after the choir shall give us a selection. The next voice you will hear. And any other information he wants to share with you. Will come from that of Reverend Steve Spade. Let us receive him by saying, Preach. Thank you. 
yourself some praise and worship God. Neighbor say neighbor. Neighbor. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Who do you know? Who do you know? That can make a day. That can make a day. Think about it. <laughs> Who do you know? <laughs> that can make a day. <laughs> now turn to your legs and neighbor. This is the day. That the Lord has made. A reason to rejoice.
to worry the patience long. If you will turn with me to the gospel of St. Matthew. Amen. The 17th chapter. And we're going to go down to the 16th verse. St. Matthew, the 17th chapter. At the 16th verse. When you have it, say amen. Amen. You don't mind standing for the reading of God's word. And we just want to pick up this one verse. And I bought him to thy disciples. And they could not, depending on which version you read, they could not cure him or heal him. That if a heart pray over God, I'm going to fall again in one more time. That you will allow us God together before thy presence to hear and receive a word from on high. And we pray, Father God, that you will send forth thy word now. As your word come Lord, open our ears, our hearts, our minds, give us understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. O oh God, that your people shall be edified, your name shall be glorified, and the enemy shall be horrified. For it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. The believers say it. Amen. Amen. How many come to hell? Church this morning. Amen. How many come to hear? Word. Word. And word. Amen. 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 Preach or teach? Amen. I don't know. Amen. But there is a word from the Lord. Amen. And if you want to jump in every now and then with your amens, that's all right. Amen. Amen. For a thought or subject this morning on this family and friends day. Simple thoughts. Simple subject. Well, trust in God. Trust in God. Trust in God. And if y'all would just give me a few minutes of your time, amen, we want to try to go somewhere amen. with this thing. We do bless you, Mother Dupree. Amen. amen. We love you. Your family dearly. Amen. You mean so much to us in Chris Chapel. Amen. amen. And others also, amen. amen. This morning, amen, by God's grace, we want to address an issue that has caused some disturbance in some family, well, mm. some friends, and even. Some church family. Come on, man. Right. No doubt in my mind, if we would continue to read in the passage this morning, that we've heard a man this particular scripture preach and teach many times in the past. Mm. Regarding the, the reality, man, that there are some sicknesses, some demonic spirits mm. that can only be dealt with, amen, by fasting. And pray. Do I have any help in here this morning? Y'all come on with me. We want to go somewhere. But we're not going to go down that road per se this morning. Because there is another powerful revelation that is oftentimes overlooked in its innocence. But has proven itself to be extremely detrimental in our walk mm. with, the, with the Lord. We have here in the background a father who is concerned, amen, who is troubled about his son. That the scripture says is a lunatic, mentally challenged, even possessed by demonic 
spirits. Y'all talk to me somebody. And the Bible says that the father took his son. Amen. To the disciples. That he might be delivered. Yes, he heard the fame, amen, of the disciples, and they went around town, amen, laying hands on the sick. And the sick did recover. Well, Ever read about it, somebody? Yeah. Amen. This father, amen, out of concern for his son, amen, said, let me take my son over and see these anointed disciples. Yeah. Those disciples, amen, they claim to be servants. Of Almighty God. Well, Claim to be disciples, amen, of the Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Those disciples, amen, they claim to have power and gifts. But yet, when this father in desperation for his son to be healed went to these disciples. And these disciples failed him. Anybody ever fail you? Anybody that you ever heard all this, this going about it, man, and you went to them for help and they let you down? Do I have a prayer church in there? Amen, amen. amen. And the truth is, saints of God, the disciples had a right and a reason to declare their gifts. Because the scripture says in the 10th chapter that Christ has given them power yes. over unclean spirits. Yes. And even to cast out yes. devils. Yes. So they had a right to walk around and say they was anointed. Yes. Wow. Have, have a right about it, somebody. Yes. And on multiple occasions, they were doing their thing. Amen, somebody. They were going around, amen, and, and laying hands on the sick. Mm. And the sick were recovered. Well. Yeah. Now that I need you, mm. you ain't no good to me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. You're walking around talking about your job. Mm. Mm. How much you get paid. Mm. Come on, man. How you started from the bottom and now you're here. Mm. Come on, man. But as soon as I need your help, Holy Ghost help me. Yeah. You ain't no good to me. Come on now. I ain't gonna be before your long church. Take your time. Amen. But as I get ready to get out of your way, there are two revelations and key points that I want us to get before we leave here today. Now one point I'm going to just mention, man. The other point I'm going to close with. Point one. Somebody say point one. Point one. Even though God blesses us mm -hmm. with multiple gifts, mm -hmm. talents, and blessings, mm -hmm. yet He may limit how we watch. Well. And a desperate father, a man that wants to have his son to be made whole again. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when the father went to the son, I mean, went to the, the, the disciples, they made the disciples fail him. Mm. Understand, my brothers and sisters, they made that sometimes God limits our gifts. Mm. He limits our blessings, they made that he might keep us in a humble place. Mm. Apostle Paul declared that was given unto me a thorn in the flesh. Mm. Amen. To bother me unless I should become above measure. Yeah. And I'm right about it, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes God will bless us with things. Yeah. Amen. But he, he limits how we use those gifts. Yeah. Amen. So we don't get big-headed yeah. with our gifts. Yeah. So we don't begin to think it's all about us. Yeah. And we're right about it, somebody. Yeah. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Yeah. Point two. Touch your neighbor. Yeah. Point, two. Point two. And then we get ready to get out of here. Yeah. In my clothes. Sometimes there are things in our life. Come on, brother Rob, we're going to get on out of here. Sometimes there are things in our life. There are situations and circumstances. Amen. That God wants us to only 
trust in him. Amen. There were some situations in our lives, amen, that God don't want us to depend on nobody else. Amen. amen. But to trust for the holy, trust in the Lord. Yeah. And we're right about it, somebody. Yeah. By my church and family. Yeah. <laughs> but understand that sometimes, amen, we as people, yeah. amen, we hear folk talking about how they got it going on. Yeah. We hear folk talking about how much money they got. <laughs> we hear folk talking about how blessed they are. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Ghost, help me to preach. <laughs> we hear folk talking about how successful they are. Yeah. <laughs> But as soon as they need their assistance, huh, all of a sudden, huh, they can't help you with anything. Huh, and we're right about it somebody. Huh, and to make it worse, huh, but sometimes we go out our way huh, to help other people. Huh, but when we need them, huh, they ain't nowhere to be found. And we're right about it somebody. Huh, every now and then, huh, we hear somebody down and look. Huh, we reach our pockets. Huh, and we do everything we can huh, to lift them back up again. Huh, but as soon huh, as we get down to the ground huh, and we call on the name, huh, there ain't nowhere to be found. Huh, and we're right about it, somebody. Huh, every now and then, huh, we do all we can huh, to encourage somebody else. Huh, so what we're going through, huh, we thought for sure huh, we could call on them huh, and they would huh, to stop by. Huh, and Keep a word huh, of encouragement huh, in our life. Huh, but as soon huh, as we wait on the phone call, huh, it don't ever ring. Huh, and we're right about it. Huh, somebody shout glory. Huh, and tell Lord, thank you. Huh, by my church huh, and very you well. Huh, but I start by to tell you huh, that it seems like huh, every time huh, you need somebody else, huh, they told you huh, if you need me, huh, they just call me. Huh, but as soon as you call, they won't even answer the phone. And the white body, somebody shout glory. And tell the Lord, thank you. And I stop by to tell somebody every now and then when it feels, when we feel like they have let us down. We begin to get in our feelings. We begin to feel some type of way. And the white body, we begin to question. I know they didn't. I did everything that I could to help them. And now they won't even answer my phone call. I'm right about it. We begin to feel in some type of way. But please understand that sometimes it's not about them, but sometimes it's about God. God himself didn't want you running to everybody else. But God wants you to trust in the Lord and know that God will. He will make everything all right. God is going down. Every now and then, when God will forgive, will forbid for somebody else from bailing you out. Simply because God wants you to fully understand that He is your provider. The Lord is your shepherd. He shall not be in want. For anything, somebody shall glory. Yes, sir. Come on, yes. God will allow other people yes, right. Come on, to help you yes. because God wants you fully yes. undivided. Yes. Yes. Tell me God is. Yes. He is your rock. Yes. He is your salvation. Yes. He is your way. Yes. There's no way. You don't write about it. To a young lady, don't get ready to get out of here. Huh. Come on then. Amen. And she was looking a little depressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, What in the world is wrong with her? Mm -hmm. You don't have that same glow. Come on. Man. That same joy Jesus. that you normally have. Mm -hmm. She said, Well, Pastor, I don't understand. I went all out of the way. To help these people. Come on. Every time I 
time they called me, mm. I went and left. But now he's in a mouth. Mm. I'm in trouble. Mm. They don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Come on. They don't know how I'm going to make it. Yeah. And this person walking around about how they got it going on. Come on. Come on. But when I went to them, they wouldn't offer me anything. Mm. Is there anybody here? There's never been there. Yeah. Is there anybody here <laughs> that ever helped somebody? Yeah. And you thought for sure <laughs> that when you needed their help, <laughs> they were going to come <laughs> to your rescue. <laughs> and I ran about it. Yeah. And I asked this lady, <laughs> I said, Look at him. I said, Who helped you? <laughs> Who blessed you? <laughs> when you helped them. And she said, uh, it was the Lord uh, that made a way uh, for me to help him. Uh, and he took out of my head. And I asked him, uh, I said, well, uh, well, why in the world are uh, you depending on the person uh, to help you now? And uh, God made a way uh, to help you uh, the first time. Uh, he said, Pastor, uh, I don't know. Uh, I never thought about it. Uh, it was like that. Uh,
Greater love has no man than this. That's right. That a friend will lay down his life. Yes. And Jesus died for our sin. Requires I give us the We extend the invitation to you this morning. This afternoon, if you may come accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If Jesus has touched you this morning, there ought to be a day. Yes, Amen. 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 They said I wouldn't be here today. Somebody say, you know, they said, let's say. They said, I never amount. They said, I'm going to be here. Well, I'm going to let you know God has a different plan. Well, I'm glad to say. He came in and changed my life. And he can do the same for you this morning.
who is all outside. Where will we be? I've seen some kids. I've seen some people. It's all because God has touched your life. And when you think about all that you feel, but they say that you're not going to die. But you have something that money can't buy. You have another job. You have something that the world can't take away. You have the love of God. When all around you are sick and sad, you have the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's good to have been in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for such a powerful word. Trust. Yeah. We're worried about all those things, all those times when you're done for other people. Come on now. And when it comes time that you need something, they can't get it. Remember who helped you to help them. Trust in the Lord. Yes. Yes. You're coming this time with this table set before us. Reminded of how God loved us so much that He gave His Son. And the Son was obedient to the Father that He went to the cross and He died for us. As He met with His disciples in the upper room, He reminded them. That one of you shall betray me. Uh, it's the one that dips his hand in with me. He looked and said, That that thou do it, do it quickly. Yes. He tells his disciples that I will no more drink of the fruit of the vine till I drink it and do it by father. But as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering till he shall come again. His death and his suffering. Actually, his suffering and his death. How he suffered and died for your sins and my sins. How the spirit of it is side. Water and blood come gushing out of the side. A crown of thorns pierced on his head. They talked about him. They stormed him. They ridiculed him. He was beaten the, the night before with 40 strikes saying one. But through all of this, Never say word. He endured this for you and for me. Yes. As often as you do this, when we think about all that we endure and we have to go through, it is nothing in comparison to what Christ went through for us. I come across people who say, who, who some say, and even even some family members who've gotten upset with me and say, and they say, you're the reason why I don't go to church. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Because when I think about the goodness of Jesus Christ and all that he's done for me, nobody can keep me from praising the Lord. Somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Because he says, often as you do this, you do it, choke forth this death and shelter. Minister Howard is going to read uh, Paul's reminder to the church of Korea of how this said should be. And as she shall read, let us focus upon not our brother, not our sister, but let us focus upon ourselves. That we may align ourselves with the word of God. I'll be coming from 1 Corinthians 11, 19-34. For there must be also here seen among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, 
therefore, into one place. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone take it before other his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the, the church of God? And shame them that have, have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament. In my blood, this do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened to the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. As often as we do this, we do show for his death to his suffer to come again. Paul say that uh, it is dangerous to partake of this unworthy, and it's dangerous not to partake of this. Simply put, Paul say not to live so each and every day that you are able to partake of this. But if you have all get your brother or sister, if they is a problem, carry one for another while we can get things right. I know in this day and age, and even while we sat here in, the, in this sanctuary today, somebody may have received a text or sent a text or sent a post that may have offended someone. And you may not have opportunity to go to their right back. But one thing you always can do is go to the Father. Amen. Yes. Jesus blessed this bread and he blessed this wine. He gave to his disciples. We're not able to bless this bread and to bless this wine as Jesus did, but we are able to ask him to intercede on our behalf. And as Deacon May shall pray with us and for this bread and for this wine, that Jesus will bless this. Search your heart, your mind and your mind, and ask the Lord to forgive and cleanse you. Amen. Dear Father God, here we come, Father God, I just say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for your son. Thank you for allowing him to take part in it, Lord, sick before our service to one, your holy place. And Father God, we realize that we are not perfect. We are arrogant and we have made mistakes. We did things that were pleasing your sin. But you know how Correct that, Father God, we ask you right now. Not to search no way up further, but look at our heart. Yes, sir. Our need. Mm-hmm. And if you find anything wrong, Father God, we ask for your forgiveness right now. Right. That we be partakers of the Holy Spirit. That we're not bringing any condemnation to ourselves, but be a blessing to us. Mm-hmm. And so, Father God, we come as a weak, the weak vessel. We ask you, Father God, to change the physical bread, the physical way, yes, to yes. the spirit. Yes. That may be, they may be a blessing by our soul. Yes. But this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As we prepare to dismiss.
distribute the Lord's Supper, we do remind that this is for those who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you have not professed and accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, please let the plate pass by you because this is for the body of Christ. You know, this is many times we think that we can just do what everybody else does. But this is for those who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. And freely he gives. And you likewise may accept him as Lord and Savior. But he says, as often as you do this, we do show forth his death to the coming here. The body and blood of all the
Jesus met with his disciples, he took the bread, he blessed it, he break it, and said, eat, this is my body, which is given to you. He took a cup of wine and blessed it, and said, this is my blood, the blood of the New Testament, drink ye all of it. Yeah, no more drink of the fruit of the vine. God, we could have knew with you and my father's opinion. I know it was the blood. There was no mistake. Aren't you glad that Jesus died for us? Aren't you glad that he rose again? There's all power in your hand. Aren't you glad to know that he lives? And because he lives, we can face the body. He's saying as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering. But we rejoice because he lives. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And because he lives, yeah. I can face tomorrow. Yeah. After they had died, they sang a hymn. And they went out into the Mount of Olives. We do not have the Mount of Olives to go up. But we do have our home. Yeah. Our house. Yeah. 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 We have somewhere to go to tell dying men it was Jesus. 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 Uh, paid the sin debt yes, sir. for my life. Yes, the choir, Brother Winstead, Brother Winstead, you have a selection for us. Let us rise, shall we? I know he came.